now it's time for the credits. The credits now. Okay, go, Chris. How'd you like the movie? Um, it's over now, and it's time to read credits. Uh, we'd like to have some expensive, glorious thing, but A, we don't have time, and B, we don't have money, and C, no one ever watches the credits anyways. Uh, I do, I do. So, we're going to have the credits read now. Well, there was Eric, otherwise known as Poof. He played Heroic Nude from the Heroic Nude sketch, and of course also playing Bert de Zoot. Um, he also played in uh, the Stupid Prick Master Ninja sketch as uh, the Ed McMahon lieutenant type character of the Horde. He played a little old lady in the very opening sketch. And he played the uh, 501 Blues sign holder guy in the 501 Blues commercial. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, he was around a lot made a lot of jokes when we were trying to do work. Generally slowed us down, but but then again, if we hadn't been slowed down, we might have run insane and killed someone. Yes. But, uh, so anyways, next there is, uh, Duncan. He played Buck Naked in Heroic Nude. He played the ZZ Top Warrior from Hell in the, uh, Stupid Prick sketch, as well as another Horde member, the Hacksaw Jim Duncan character. Duncan, we thank you again for letting us implode your head. Uh. Yeah, that's uh, something most actors can't handle. Yeah. Uh, he also played Morally Safer from the 60 Minutes sketch. Yes. Uh, then we had Carolyn. Carolyn played the mobile... Mobile. Mobile. Folks model. She played Venus Pudens in the Heroic Nude sketch. And she played the reluctant porn star <laughs> in the... Uh, Masturbator Theater. Uh, then there was uh, Crispy. Crispy played the midget in the uh, Stupid Prick show. Uh, he also played Wonder Woman and Mike Wallace. Yes. And Wonder Wallace. Uh, you'll probably get shit for the rest of your life from that sketch, Crispy. <laughs> but it's nice. Anyways, um, um, then we have uh, Doug. Doug played the camera guy in the Tiger sketch. Mm -hmm. um, Harry Reasoner in the 60 Minutes sketch. Yes. And the Dark Overlord yes. in the Stupid Prick sketch. And uh, he was also, his primary job, the reason why you don't see Doug in the movies too much is because he's our cameraman. Mm -hmm. Well, one of our cameramen. Uh, yes. But the other two are Gil and I. Uh, but but primary cameraman would be Doug and, and I don't know. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. Uh, uh, sir, you, you forgot something. We'd like to thank Doug for um, the use, of his, room the use for the of his room for the past, past two, weeks. two weeks. Staying up every night of the week until the sun rises every single evening. Yes. And this is a big help. And we have to thank Doug for singing and dancing sensation. Oh, yes. Well, yes. And of course, no one will ever forget ICC, we want the mambo. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Um, next was Michelle. Michelle played a little old lady. Uh, in the opening sketch, uh, Diane Sawyer in the 60 Minutes sketch, the Sex Chicano Jew in the Stupid Prick sketch, as well as uh, the voiceover for Wonder Woman, and um, she was also the Gorilla Pressed Horde member. Uh, she was the only one who was actually small enough for me to pick up over my head quite easily. Um, so I got to throw her at Gil, sort of, kind of, in a way. I'm grateful. Um, let's see. There's also. Uh, well, you know, if you noticed, I'm sure you did, Fang's in the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, he played a thug in the heroic nude sketch. Uh, it might be hard to see, but he is that dark guy with the glasses on. Um, he played a hostage. Sweaterhead. In, yeah, Sweaterhead the hostage, also in heroic nude. He played Ed Bradley in the 60 Minute sketch. He also played a little old lady in the opening sketch. He's the one that you... <coughs> See, take the really good fall right before the music stops. Uh -huh. And uh, he's also the machine gunning horde member in the, hero in the stupid prick sketch. Um, after that, there, there's various extras who we all thank. And uh, I mean, Tig and Deb and Sarah and uh -huh. you know everyone who ever came by helped us out. It was, it was like really useful. People who threw food at us, uh, which. Wasn't many, but lots of people came by and helped us out. <laughs> but um, you know, we, we're really appreciative. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's our it's our show, and we like it. Yeah. Um, 
Other than that, there's, there's Gil. Gil and I co-wrote this, and uh, he's behind the camera right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Gil, other than being part-time cameraman, also played Barry White and a thug in Heroic Nude Sketch. Yep, yep, yep. Um, he played the sensei and the bandana, bandana wearing horde member in the... Uh, with the liquidator. Stupid, with this liquidator in Stupid Prick Sketch. He played the late guy and tiger food in the opening sketch. Uh, played Julia Childs. Julia Childs sketch. And Julia Childs 1. He did the voiceover for the Dark Overlord. <laughs> Julia Childs 1. <laughs> um, let's see. And then there was me. I, I, did, I was Stupid Prick. And I was the overdresser in Heroic Nude. Uh, I was a thug in the 501 Blues commercial. I was the It's Starting guy. Uh, and I was, I was Julia Childs, too. And uh, I also played Alistair Cook in all those masturbation masterpieces. Yeah. Master of the other thing. <laughs> um, and we also must mention Severed the Arm. Oh, yes. Uh, Severed the Arm appears in Heroic Nude, 60 Minutes, one, uh, at least a few of the Masterpiece Theater sketches. Stupid Prick Sketch. He shows up in... Uh, uh, Tiger. Tiger. Tiger Sketch. Uh, the only thing he doesn't show up in, I think, is the Julia Child Sketch. It's really and the 501's commercial. And the 501's commercial. Uh, he's our severed arm. He did a lot of work for us. Uh, we're really grateful. He lost a lot of pus. Yeah, he lost a lot of pus. He'll probably never be used again. But we tried to fix him, and it's just its too bad. We, we're going to miss you, Severed. Mm. Um, and uh, other than that, this is the end of the credits, primarily. Uh, you might care to know that the movie is dedicated to Fang, of course. Uh, he left a lot of friends behind, and a lot of friends who really miss him. Yeah. And we're sorry you can't be here for the viewing of it, Fang. Uh, I know you wanted to. And uh, I guess I'm going to say that's it. Good day. Hope you like the movie. And uh, hope you like the party afterwards. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. 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 Good